Your dress shoes, a foundational piece of your wardrobe. A good pair of dress shoes aren't cheap, so you want them to last. But did you know that you may actually be destroying your shoes unintentionally? Thomas with Real Men Real Style here, and in today's video, I'm going to cover all the mistakes you're making that wreck your expensive dress shoes. Mistake number one, not using a shoehorn. Do you make the rookie mistake of jamming your foot into your dress shoes, which crushes the back of the heel? Repeatedly bending and crushing the leather like this is going to make it crease and break down over time. What's the solution? Get a shoehorn. This simple device tucks into the back of your shoe, so you can easily slide your foot in without damaging the leather. Mistake number two, not using shoe trees. Your shoes continuously bend and flex when you walk, which causes the leather to crease over time. So after a few months of use, your beautiful expensive dress shoes are going to be looking worn out. The solution to this is so easy. Putting in a pair of cedar shoe trees after every wear will minimize creases by gently stretching the leather back to its original shape. Not only that, but the cedar is also great for absorbing sweat, moisture, and odor. Mistake number three, wearing your shoes every day. Wearing the same pair of shoes each and every day is going to greatly reduce their lifespan. You sweat in your shoes throughout the day, and when you keep wearing them on consecutive days, the leather doesn't have time to dry. Damp leather is more susceptible to becoming creased and misshapen. You want to give it at least a day to dry out between wears. So make sure you have at least a couple pairs of dress shoes in the rotation, so you can alternate which days you wear them. Hey guys, what's your favorite style of dress shoes? Let me know in the comments below. Mistake number 4. Not brushing. You should take a soft horsehair brush and sweep away any dirt, dust, or salt that you picked up while out and about. This only takes a moment to do, but keep your shoes looking great and let you go far longer before needing to deep clean them. That brings us to mistake number 5, not cleaning. Most of the time, a good polish is all that's needed to make your shoes look their best. But if you ever step into a mud puddle or get a lot of salt or grime on your shoes, then it's time for a deeper cleaning. Use an applicator brush and some saddle soap to clean off the dirt and grime from your shoes. You don't need to do this often, just whenever they get really dirty. Whether you're using an electric safety or cartridge razor, consider using an aftershave balm. Applying this after you shave helps to cool the skin and prevent redness. Now, gents, the grooming products you see in today's video brought to you by Vitaman. And instead of me telling you how awesome they are, how about I put a link down in the description of today's video so you can try them for free. Seriously, gents, use that link in the description to grab a sample kit over at Vitaman for free. Mistake number six, not conditioning. If you don't take care of them properly, your leather dress shoes will dry out and develop cracks over time. This is especially something you need to watch out for if you live in a dry environment. The easy remedy for this is to add moisture back in by using a leather conditioner made for dress shoes. Condition the leather every time you deep clean the shoes to replace the moisture washed away by the saddle soap. If you don't clean the shoes very often, you should still condition the leather two to three times a year depending on how dry your environment is. Mistake number seven, not polishing. There's no point in spending good money on dress shoes if you're just going to let them get dull and scuffed up. So make sure you have a good shoe wax and are regularly polishing your shoes. It will depend on how much you wear them, but plan to polish once or twice a month with frequent wear. Once or twice a year if you only wear them occasionally. Mistake number eight, skipping the socks. I get it, wearing your dress shoes in hot weather without socks makes you look laid back and super cool. But you know what's not cool? How badly you're messing up your shoes. Your socks absorb a lot of the sweat your feet let out during the day. So skipping the socks means your shoes are getting a lot of excess moisture. So don't be surprised when they start to really stink. If you want the sockless look, give no-show socks a try. They offer the protection of regular socks, but will remain hidden underneath the tops of your shoes. Mistake number nine, getting your shoes wet. Is it raining cats and dogs outside? Do you have lots of snow on the ground? Don't wear your good leather shoes in wet weather. It's a great way to get some nasty water stains in the leather. If you want to wear your dress shoes when the weather turns bad, make sure you protect them. The best way to do this is to buy a set of rubber galoshes to cover your shoes. Mistake number 10, not storing your shoes properly. If your shoes won't be getting used for a while, store them away where they will be protected. Don't just toss them in a closet where they're gonna get old dusty. To ensure they remain clean and ready to go at a moment's notice, store them in a fabric shoe bag. The shoe bag will keep off any dust and dirt, just make sure it's made from fabric so the leather will be able to breathe. Now guys, what do you do if it's too late and your dress shoes are scuffed, scratched, or creased? Don't worry guys, in this video here, I'm going to show you how to bring your dress shoes back to life. 